Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I do for the lotto. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I talk rather quickly in an almost Robin Williams-esque manner, which might throw some of you off, but to be fair, folks, if you're not down with Robin W., may he rest in peace, wherever he may or may not be, depending on whatever your personal beliefs are. But, uh, if you can't get down with Robin, uh, folks, I don't know if this show's gonna be for you. It might be for you. I don't know. While I'm doing it, there's Peter Can Thunderbolt poster behind me. Crabby old ladder off to the side. I'm wearing a cool shirt, folks. I'm still rocking the Wild Arms 2 t-shirt. Wild Arms 2. Excellent video game. Probably from, like, uh, 98 or 99, something like, probably before that. Maybe, like, nine, I don't know. I, I got it later on, so uh, by, by the time I got it, it was already, like, a used game. <laughs> but it was a cool game. It's so good. I like it so much. More people need to inflate it. But anyway, I'm also wearing this right here. It's a cool bracelet. Uh, it's uh, done by a friend of mine named Sean McCoy. I, I mention all this stuff every time it's on here. Uh, he makes these personally. He's a martial artist. He's an actor, a stuntman. Uh, does comic books now. He's working on animated stuff. He's a man of many, many hats. And uh, if you happen to be interested, let me know. I can go over there and get in touch with him. I promise I don't make anything off of it or anything like that. I just really like going over there and repping cool people who do cool stuff. So, anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, I'm trying to tear through my backlog of stuff. Specifically, a while ago, I went to a... Uh, International Fresh Market by my house was mostly an Asian Fresh Market, and so I got, boom, weird Pringle-looking things. I mean, are they Pringles? They're from Lay's, clearly. That part is in English. Uh, so, but, they, like, they definitely look like Pringles. They come in the Pringles can, but then Lay's also has their own stuff, so I'm guessing that's just their, the, their offshoot of it. Um... They're purple. Uh, what are they specifically? Does it say? Yes, okay. Nice thing is, because they're sold in America, they do have to have some description on it. Lay's Purple Sweet Potato Chips. So I guess they're... Oh, coconut flavor. There we go. So are they... I, okay. So are they sweet... All right. So presuming that, like, normal Lay's chips in this format are standard potato variety are these then made out of sweet potatoes and then they're coconut flavor i don't know but they're purple and i'm gonna try eating them that's the plan today folks where are these from does it say product of china are they marketed to china or are they someplace else i don't know i don't i'm not i don't i don't know the the writings but uh i can eat stuff still Open, 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 open. Well, I can genuinely say I wasn't expecting that. That one threw me for a loop. Because, folks, typically when I go over there, I open up a pack of Pringles or, you know, Lay's equivalent. Uh, there's just chips inside. But in this case, apparently Lay's China or whoever decided that I needed a plastic thing. Now, I can already tell what this is supposed to be for. I, I pull the plastic thing up, and it makes getting to the chips easier. Fair enough. However, I'm seeing two issues with this already from what I can see. Number one, it appears that the chips are subsequently smaller, and that there are less of them. I, I personally would have just taken... I mean, like, yeah, folks, I don't have particularly big hands, but, like, wedging them in there inside of a, you know, Pringles can or something, it's, it's a little doing. And this actually looks smaller in diameter than the standard one. So I get the appeal, but at the end of the day, I can always just tilt it back, folks. Okay, I, I can go over there, you know, I can tall boy this shit. But I, I will say I don't mind the idea, I guess. Like, it, 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 it is more convenient. It just, it seems like more effort for less stuff. So, okay. You can see them, they're purple. I'm going to try one just by itself. Now, typically, when I go over there, I have a Pringles-like chip. Uh, I do at least two at a time, 
because I feel like that's the optimal level level of flavor. But for sake of uh, science, is that why I do this? Sure, science. Let's say science. I'm going to try just one by itself, and then we'll see optimal level of flavor. That is an extremely strange thing that I have eaten. It starts off, it doesn't have a lot of flavor at the beginning. But then, I guess it happened to be made from, with sweet, sweet potatoes, or at the very least the idea has lodged itself in my brain now. Because there is like sort of a sweet potato or like a yam kind of taste to it. And then it sort of gets overtaken by like kind of a dry coconut flavor. They're so weird because my brain doesn't know what to do with it. Like, they're a little bit sweet because of, like, the coconut aspect of it. And I guess, to a certain extent, the sweet potato aspect of it. But they're not sweet like a candy or something like that. And they still have something of a savoriness, you know, well, you know, potato-esque aspect to it. Yeah, like, as you move them around... I feel like it's, it's mostly like kind of the sweet potato taste, and it's very light. And then, as you know, it starts to dissolve, that seems to kind of release the coconut flavor. Or maybe the coconut flavor is just really light at the beginning, and then once everything else is gone, you get sort of like a more like pure coconut flavor. I don't know. They're good. I appreciate the fact, and this is one of the kind of the nice things about Pringles, Pringle type chips. People give them shit because they're all, you know, they don't use like natural potatoes, you know, it's all ground up and additives and then it's reconstituted. I don't give a dude shits, folks. The nice thing about it is they kind of disintegrate a little bit in your mouth, which is kind of a fun, you know, sensation. These do that actually more so. They almost become like a, almost become like a sort of a creamy texture. But the crunch is nice. They're just so unusual, like my, my brain is really struggling to know where to categorize them. I think, I think I like them. And that's saying something, because I'm not somebody who's huge on coconut. Certain things I like coconut just fine. Tom Ka uses coconut milk. My favorite soup of all time. Ramen, depending, it's, it's, it's that and between that and ramen. Pho is really good, too. Like, Asian soups just rule. And to be fair, even like, like minestrone soups, oh man, minestrone is so good. Not chicken, you know, soup is awesome. I've only known one person in my entire life who didn't like soup. Uh, because they weren't a fan of, like, the idea of, like, drinking their meals, basically. So it was kind of a texture thing for them. And, uh, that person sucked ass. Like, genuinely one of the worst people I've ever known. So, I'm not saying that it's a one-to-one. -one. I'm sure there are folks out there who don't enjoy soup who are perfectly nice people. I'm just saying the only one that I've met, quite possibly the worst person I've ever met. So... They're so weird. Well, I like them, but my brain doesn't know why I like them. I think they did a good job of limiting the flavor on it. Normally, I'm, like, big on punchy flavor. But I think with flavors like coconut 
and sweet potato. At least for me, I think they pretty much hit the nail on the head. I would not want like a huge explosion of coconut flavor. I think that would be a bit much. At that point, it's basically a dessert. In this case, they still sort of err on the side of being just a snack. Just an unusual snack. But one that I do enjoy, and I can genuinely say I don't, I've never had anything quite like it. Which, for me, is part of the fun of the experience anyway. So I could go with these. I really can. Um, now that said, would I recommend them? Yes. Now, like I said, I got these at the International Fresh Market. So I don't know where the hell you're going to be able to get them, but maybe you have a market near you. Might be able to look them up online. I don't know if they're quite good enough with the shipping charges and stuff and everything. Unless you're buying, like, a bunch of stuff. But as a thing, if you do happen to run into them, or maybe you're from a country where they're, you know, more readily available, there is something to them, and they're unique enough where... I would, genu I would suggest pretty much a a everybody try them. I don't think everybody's going to love them. I wouldn't even say that I love them. But they're so unique that I, I can't say who they're for enough to go over there and say, oh, well, I would you know, I would recommend it to this person, but maybe not to these people. Because even if, like, like I said, I'm not really a coconut guy. Even I am digging what they did with this. Is it, like, the greatest taste sensation, you know, across the nation? No. But for what it is, it's really interesting and that alone makes it worth trying, in my opinion. So, how? Weird container and all. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this particular review. I shouldn't have eaten the last few chips that I just had. Now you get to watch me chew. Now you get to watch me chew. As I'm singing, staying no longer to chew. There we go. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. Let's dial it back. I just went over there and got a little bit messed up. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. If you can go over there and have yourselves a truly weird-ass purple sweet potato chip coconut rest of your life. Because if for no other reason, you'll be interesting as hell, I guess. Final two things for me, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do if we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay, you go over there. You're living your life. You're going to deal with people. That's a bad time. Okay, I don't care who you are. That's just a bad time. And you're going to have those moments where those people are going to set you off. And, you know, you're going you're gonna to want to go over there. You're going to want to key their car. Go over there and demolish their house. And, you know, go over there and make sure that their entire family bloodline never, you know, rises above poverty levels ever again. That might happen, folks. But, but, maybe dial it back. Not too many people who deserve that level of treatment. There's a few. But, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Maybe you're going to go over there... You're going to find even weirder colored Pringle Lay's chip things. They'll be like turquoise and, uh, and mauve. And, uh, you know, the, the, the mauve will be like mulberry flavor. And the turquoise will be like, uh, it's a thing that's turquoise. Turquoise Beanie Baby flavor. Because we're, we're dragging that one out, folks. Remember Beanie Babies? They're still around. They're still around. Sure, why the hell not? Or conversely, you could go over there and do something way better with your time than the bullshit I was just yammering on about. I've, I've eaten way too many things today. My brain is starting to rot. Like, uh, go over there and, uh, you know, go over there and talk to your neighbor. Go over there and, I mean, you know, as long as your neighbor's cool. Strike up conversation, maybe find out there's things that you have in common and stuff like that. And then maybe they go over there to, you know, borrow things every now and again. You make sure to bring them back. Yeah, you're, you're responsible like that. Now, am I going to do that? No, I'm not going to do that. I, I, my neighbors are fine. 
So they do their thing and I do mine. But maybe you want to go over there and do that. Maybe you're a different person than I am. Hopefully you're a different person than I am. If you're not a different person than I am, I have so many questions, I don't even know where to begin, and I'm certain that I would need at least a physicist to help me out. Bye.